Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at the Deacon with Disc Firing Helmet and Mutant Hunter Shark, an exceptional piece in the basic figure collection of Kenner's 1995 Waterworld toy line. Welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On this channel, we discuss everything Waterworld in hopes of making new discoveries about this cult sci-fi adventure franchise. In this video, we'll be talking about Dennis Hopper's Deacon action figure from the Kenner Waterworld toy line and the amazing details that found their way into this figure. Also, we'll be discussing the little-known origins of the packed-in mutant hunter shark, so be sure to stick around for that. Let's begin by looking at the figure in its original packaging with the weapons, the accessories, the mutant creature, and the figure filling out the large plastic bubble very nicely. On the back of the card, we are welcomed with the familiar image of the entire Waterworld toy line, as well as specific directions for how to use the disc firing helmet. Studying the Deacon figure out of the packaging, we can see the enormous amount of in-universe design that is sculpted into this miniature plastic form. Along with many of the figures in the Waterworld toy line, the texturing of the textiles in this outfit are exceptionally well formed, complete with individual stitches being rendered. In the film, lead costume designer John Bloomfield created the Deacon's costume to be a cross between Idi Amen and the Pope, a hybrid military spiritual leader. Bloomfield endowed the Deacon's iconic leather biker jacket with found relics from the past. Things like bottle caps, radio parts, military medals, and even smashed baby dolls. Attached to the Deacon's shoulders were genuine blowfish that had been shaped, dried, and painted. All of these details found their way into the Deacon's action figure counterpart, even the blowfish shoulder pads. And since the Deacon was a golf enthusiast, Bloomfield outfitted Dennis Hopper with Adidas golf shoes, another detail reflected in the Deacon toy. The head sculpt of the Deacon action figure is an absolute delight, with an astonishing resemblance to Dennis Hopper. To quote the novel adaptation, the Deacon is a striking man, his head the shape of a hard-boiled egg. Though he wasn't tall, his bearing made him appear enormous. A whacked out persona that Hopper carried impeccably throughout the film. The Deacon action figure sports blackened swimmer goggles as a makeshift eye patch. In the movie, the Deacon loses his eye in a fiery explosion caused by the Mariner himself, and through the remainder of the film he wears an eye patch, giving him a pirate-like air. Let's now turn our attention to the main packed in weapon with this figure, the disc firing helmet. This full body weapon is exquisitely crafted to fit within the Waterworld universe, with it seemingly assembled from random found parts. The disc firing helmet attaches to the Deacon's torso with these two nicely fitting buckles. The disc firing helmet can either rest in a prone position along the figure's back or in an upright position ready for firing. The discs, which are sculpted in the same ramshackle fashion, load into the front of the helmet. To fire the discs, you push the button in the rear of the helmet, and the firing action on this weapon is incredibly satisfying, though it should be noted that the disc firing helmet is a retool of the infrared Batman weapon from the Batman animated Kenner toy line. The only small complaint I have with the disc firing helmet is that the weapon's scope sight aligns with the Deacon's wounded eye, which unfortunately makes little sense. Also included with the Deacon action figure is this maniacal rifle accessory. The weapon is clearly influenced by the props in the film, however the Kenner toy designers have really taken it to the next level, with the stock of the rifle being constructed of a human skull, a truly fitting weapon for the smoker's cutthroat leader. I will conclude this video with a very interesting look at the packed-in mutant hunter shark. 
Like all the basic figures in the Waterworld toy line, the Deacon comes with a mutant sea creature, but this one happens to have a more in-depth backstory. The mutant hunter shark is wonderfully sculpted with scales, fins, a horrifying mouth, and sunken eyes. Truly mutatious. But what are the origins of this frightening creature? After the Mariner, Helen, and Enola escape the smoker ambush at the slave colony, the Deacon gives the order to bring him the trackers, to follow the blood trail from the Mariner's wound. To quote the novel adaptation, the wire mesh centerboard of an underwater cage opened as tracker sharks nosed out, circling the water faster and faster, as if the scent of blood were simultaneously driving them mad, mad with ecstasy. But where is the actual footage of the tracker sharks pursuing the Mariner's trimaran? According to the making of Waterworld book, the company Rhythm and Hughes, a company still in existence and that does award-winning effects work on many television shows like Game of Thrones, was responsible for creating the three-dimensional computer animations for the Trimaran Spinnaker Kite Sail, the Whale Fin, and the Tracker Sharks. This is a different company than the one that created the digital water simulations used throughout the film. Those were handled by Cinesite, another company that's still in existence. The making of Waterworld book even proudly displays concept art of these aquatic bloodhounds. However, the animation of the tracker sharks must have been cut from the film or never completed since they do not appear in any of the various versions of the movie. But are there really no visuals of the tracker shark in the film? Well, if you watch very carefully during the scene where the Mariner and Helen explore the underwater city, you will see the dorsal fins of two tracker sharks slip by as Enola appears into the ocean depths. To again quote the novel adaptations, she could see something down there, something blue, something blurry, not the cage, but something else, something alive. Dolphins? No. Sharks. And just like the description given in the book, the mutant hunter shark reflects this eerie blue color. But where else can we find the hunter tracker shark in the Waterworld universe? Well, first looking at the video games, we can find the hunter tracker shark in the underwater levels of the Game Boy game and the Sega Genesis game. And a shark fin also slices through the water in the Virtual Boy game. You can also spot the hunter tracker shark among the sea life in the pinball machine and also on the board of the tabletop game. And let's not forget the brief appearance of the hunter tracker shark in the Children of the Leviathan comic book. Well, that concludes my in-depth discussion of the Deacon with Disfiring Helmet and Mutant Hunter Shark. We are currently reviewing the entire Waterworld toy line, so be sure to check out the other in-depth videos on this channel. And thanks, as always, for joining me at the Atoll.